Disclaimer, the potential clips used in this video is being used under the Fair Use Act of Section 107. These clips are being used primarily for comedial effect. No monetary gain is being made from these. All rights are reserved and the clips belong to their original owners. Thank you and enjoy. Alright folks, how's it going? So, um, this is going to be a special video, for me at least. So this is going to be my first time looking at the Rotec mod for Battletech. So, um, a couple of you will know I've been talking about Rotec on the Discord channel for a few months now. Just, you know, just looking into it and stuff and watching videos about it and it completely changes the game. So, I'm going to do... A video just setting up my off-screen career mode just to see what it's all about um, I don't know anything about it I've just installed it today I want to keep everything a bit blind for myself but eventually we will be doing a playthrough of this in the, the future anyway so let's go career mode okay so we've got a new career mode let's have a look okay let's have a look here then right so career mode suggested okay right so we can choose what mech parts we want. Five. Okay, we'll keep the default. Experience. Hmm. Go seven, I think. Make worry progression. Okay, so it's just a lot of the usual stuff. Okay, normal. Cool. Right. Okay, so this is um this is important because we get to choose where we want to be in the world and also it chooses um what kind of mechs we're gonna be starting off with. So, I believe, like, um, let me give you an example. Um, if we were to start in, I don't know, really. Well, Torian. So, we'll start in the Torian Conquered Art, but also our mechs are... See, it's hard to explain. Um, our mechs are chosen depending on what company mercenary type we want. No. There's three different types of playing units in this, this mod. There's your mechs, your VTOLs, which is like your helicopters and planes. And you get vehicles as well. Um, I'm going to explain this as we go. Also, starting money as well. Um, starting money, I'm going to go to the top because... <laughs> to be honest, I kind of want to make this as easy as possible because... I mean... I, I always do new things on the easy set and just to see what the mechanics are and stuff really. It's nothing to do with um it's nothing to do with uh trying to be good or anything. This is for my own playing really, just so we get used to it. Um I think what we're gonna go for I think we're gonna go for Um Comga Devian Lam Lau Let's go primitive. Yeah, you can go primitive mechs as well, because when you're installing Rotate, you get a lot of different settings, and I've chosen some of the settings, but I'll go over them as uh, because I'll be doing the Rotate installation guide when I first start my Rotate official playthrough. Anyway, let's just go. I don't know. Fucking too many to choose from here. Mm. Let's go Davian. As an example. Also, there's a uh, friendly fire as well. That's actually really interesting that. But I'm going to disable that. Contract difficulty 2. Yeah, I believe it. Um, mech recovery chance 50%. Salvage. I'll go generous. Because there is a lot of components in this mod. Contract payment will go generous because you'll quickly find that your financial report skyrockets every month depending on how much mechs because in this game you can have up to three lances at a time and it's all um it's all disputed by a tonnage weight that you have to upgrade your argo to increase that to get more and more uh mechs down and different chassis and stuff okay piles for system five lethality we can go uh never because again i just want this to be it's sort of easy as possible, I guess. Pilots, yeah, that's fine. Uh, mech bay, armor speed. Don't know about that. Mech bay speed, that's normal. Sea bell's normal. Shot for... Okay, cool. 
Right, let's give this a start, shall we? Also, there's a lot more um, weapons in this as well. I believe there's arrows, thunderbolts, um, LBX, auto cannons, uh, rotary auto cannons. Yeah, and, and, and there's a lot more fucking mechs in this. So, forget your centurions, forget your, your locusts, and say hello to your dire wolves, your timber wolves, your, um, I'm trying to think, the other ones that I know of. Your martyrs, your night stars, your annihilators. It's loud. It's loud. The question is, though, is gonna make sure this fucking video loads first. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Hope it loads alright. Yeah, okay, okay, there we go, man. Yeah, um, it hit. Right, so I started installing this at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And it literally installed about 6 o'clock, so 4 hours it took. There was a lot to install. I'll leave the um, the mod in the description, and I'll leave a video that I followed to get this installed, because the guy who who explained everything about your installation will explain it a lot better than I will, because this video is about my initial reaction to this mod, rather than me explaining it, you know? Let's go see, uh, <laughs> see how it is. Of course, there's a, there's a lot to fucking load. So load time is going to be mad. Yeah, there's even a, up here, there's even UAVs. There's just, there's a lot of fucking stuff. Every, every mech has, so if you remember from the vanilla playthrough, for those who have watched this video, who's watched the playthrough. Um, you know, we had weapons and heat sinks and jump jets. Well, in this mod, there's also engines, engine types, gy uh, different types of gyros. There's bow computers, there's control systems, there's fucking loads. Of course, gotta get this mod um, loaded up first. Might take a while. I mean, apparently this mod works with uh, higher RAM. I've not got really good RAM, so I'm a little bit worried, to be honest with you. But I might do a cut until it loads, so hopefully it does. Hey, mouse is still moving. Just got to take a minute or two. Still loading. Like, I'm not joking, this mod is fucking huge. I'll make that cut now. Alright, I didn't take longer than I thought it would. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's see what portrait is going to give us. All right. Okay, so let's have a look. So we get um, traits now, depending on what our interests are and what happened to us. So you still got your your different. Yeah, you can also just got some new ones here as well. Uh, we have the uh, Lion Commonwealth, uh, the, the usual factions, Trueborn. Yeah, because this is factoring in the clans, which um, the clans came in a lot later on after the, uh, the restoration. Because in terms of the timeline, we got mechs from every single timeline in the universe. But I'm just going to go with what we have. Uh, what was it? It was Federated Sons. Uh, you can see Space and Honest, um, Gambler. That's pretty cool. Uh, coming of age, veteran, lucky mech. Yeah, this is another thing as well. So this career, we also get different. We also get different stuff. So merchant jinx, but quick sell, light mech, and gear. The sales rep, we get a random bushwhacker, which is a medium mech. 
Freelancer, we get Random Hutchback, as well as Reckless and Drunk. Uh, Gladiator, we get Specialist Items. Um, Specialist Items is, um, I'll go over that in a sec. Mercenary is Random Advanced Unit, I believe that's uh, Power Armor, I think. Might be. I'm not entirely too sure. Merchant, we start with 3 million star money, which is pretty decent, actually. Corsair, Random Pirate Mechs, yes, we get Mechs. Uh, pirate Mechs in this. Um... Don't know what AWACS. Oh, here we go. Airborne, yeah. Uh, commonly known as an airborne warning control system allows command directly near and on the balances. Okay, cool. Soldier, we get large assortment of ammo and weapons. Um, I think we're just going to go with the default. So we get around the bushwhacker. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of load in here. Okay, war is business is business hell. When it's a sphere commander, you're a mercenary. Yeah, it's just the same thing as we get. Right, so as you can see, now everything is on the mini map, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, store. I'll give you a quick look at the items as well. Yep, we get drillsons, heavy calories, hetzers, mantis, so different, different weapons and different um, vehicles and vehicles and stuff. These are specialist equipment that was on a bit then. We got bolt on rockets, tandem, flamers, heavy, heavy auto cannon, five, MGs, SRMs. We get advanced optics, Mark 1. Just fucking negates no visual, provides one range up to 540 meters. There's fucking loads of stuff here. Cases as well. That stops um, internal explosive damage when you've got. Ammo explosions as well, the different engines, the 140, 350, you know what I mean, it's fucking loads. Turret mount, two accuracy to weapons mounted in the same location. Different types of ammo, incendiary ammo for the AC2. Shaft, thumpers, if we go to the barracks. Also, skills are different as well, because now at each um, five rank of a, a particular tree, we get a choice between two different perks. It's just it's crazy. It really is. I mean, look here. So if we go to Gunnery 5, we've got Bandit, which is 25 increased chance, critical strike chance and plus 6 to crit, uh, clustering roll modifiers, which is to do with missiles mainly. 6% uh, improved call shot multiplier, minus 1 recoil. And here we got Warlord and Control Burst. Um, I'll leave it on here for a couple of seconds so you can see what each one does. Again, plus 2 local ECM. Oh, that's not too bad. Action, push your engine to limit. One plus work, multi. Okay, cool. That's a good one, Juggernaut. Uh, braces after melee and DFA. Yeah, that's a really good one. Hard case with stability damage. Berserk, uh, one accuracy, 20% damage. That's also cool. We've still got heat sinks as well. Uh, sorry, cooling vent. Tactician, um, sight range, sight sensor. Yeah, just got sensor lock here. Absolutely mad. So it's pretty cool. Mess around with that. Now, Mech Bay. Let's see what we have. Check out this Mech Bay, Commander. Pretty great, right? So we have the Cicada C. Uh, like yeah. So we have the Cicada 3F. That's mad. Also, we have um, Quirks as well. So where it says, if Agent and I see you, with every mission that a pilot pilots that mech will get an affinity point given so after 20 uses of that mech in 20 missions they get a brand they get like a, a, a perk basically and so we have the cicada we have a whitworth which is uh hey, look at that that's pretty cool that, isn't it cockpit life support i'll show all this in a second fully brawler having plates missile boat wolfhound oh god look at the wolfhound that's pretty cool Spider and the, uh, the Stinger. So if we look at the Cicada. Oh, also we do have vehicle bay as well, so we can have vehicles as well. So we have a Warrior H7B if it loads. Maybe not. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, there it is. This is a vehicle. Right. So if we go back to the Cicada and we go to refit. So the way the so the way the mech bay works now is 
we have special slots. So in this case, improved sensors, which is a 5% increase in sensor range, counters ECM, which is electronic countermeasures. Because there's two different things, there's like probes and ECMs and stuff. Uh, we got extra range, pat, uh, PPC. We got different types of medium lasers, uh, medium laser exostars. We have ferro fibers, which is armor, and also endo steel. Endo steel increases the uh, minus 50% structure weight change. So it means like if we were to remove this, we would lose a couple of tons. So we put that back, it just means we could fit more stuff into. But we could fit more stuff into the mech and stuff. Gyros, uh, heat sinks, there's different types of heat sinks now. Because to use certain heat sinks, you need the heat sink kit. Uh, we've got different types of engines. Basically, the higher the engine number, the I think it's the faster it moves, I think. So, that's that. And there's different actuators as well. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick mission. And I'm going to show you exactly um, how this works in battle. So, we've got engineering as well. So we have power, structure, drive, habitat, drop tonnage, uh, we can like, uh, store if that's not a good one. So the drop size for example, um, which one is it, there we go, allows us to drop one additional mech or tank, so it means we can have up to like, depending on our tonnage limit, we can have like, four, we can have like up to 12 units altogether, because we've got an Alpha Lance, Bravo Lance and a Charlie Lance, there's, there's a fucking lot to do with this. And the thing is, though, right, even though we got light mechs and, yeah, light mechs only, almost, we're already at 4,000, 400,000 for the financial report, where if this was vanilla, that'd be 200. So you can see how quickly things ramp up. Uh, okay, let's go to Command Center. Command Center's changed as well. Make because, yep, we got all this to deal with. But obviously, we can't fucking do 5 star. No way. So we're going to have to move here. So let's go to navigation. And let's see if we can move to a different Hello, part of time. The Apple may not be fully functional yet, but she's spaceworthy enough for yeah. our purpose. Alright, let's have a look at it. See if there's any like half star we can go on or whatever. So yeah, as you can see, the map is fucking yeah, massive. Right, there's half skull here. So let's go here instead. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Okay. Hey, boss. We're on Patch of Stash. That's a pretty fine toy. Let's keep that sweet. Okay. Let's continue. This is the Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker BSW GTL. Prototype of one day became the Gauntlet. This Bushwhacker was fitted with a unique Lyran produced XL engine that employs a unique supercharger and TSM in an attempt to overcome having salvage clan grade XL engines. So it's an Omni Mech, and Omni Mechs are pretty special in this mod. I'll show you in a sec if it comes through. Let me show you. So we have our Bushwhacker, as you can see, it looks really cool. Almost looks like a, um, a Marauder to some degree. But the cool thing about Omni Mechs is... Oh, look at this. We can have up to X amount of hard points. Which is pretty cool. So if we took a medium laser off, as you can see here, we have two medium X pulses. So look at here, right? We've got two energy. As you can see, now that the rest of our points has became one. So it means that there's no limitation to what kind of um, setup you want. I mean, we've got MMLs, which is uh, medium missile launchers, stealth armor, which has something to do with... Um, um, you know, sensors and stuff. I need to look at all this. We have AMS, which is anti-missile. Uh, yeah, anti-missile systems. Handheld rack twos. Just, just mad. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the Argo, and I just want to do a quick mission. Also, um, if you guys seen the bonus video that I uploaded? Um, if you've seen the bonus video uploaded, um, where the support lances, they're in this mod. And I believe support lances is something to do with, like, how big your tonnage is and stuff compared to the mission. 
but there's also an option where you can spawn with uh, an ally lance as well. Waypoint reached, Commander. Cool. All right. Also, there is a, an option to skip the travel as well. Okay, let's go to the command center and let's see if we can get a half skull battle just to see what. Pull up a chair. See what we can do. I just want to get a half skull um, battle recovery. Half skull battle. Yeah, sure, we'll do that one. Um, let's go maximum salvage because you want to get maximum salvage because of just the amount of different stuff you can get. Okay, so um, let's see, we've got three things locked already. We have Centurion CID, D3D, Firestarter, and Sentinel. Uh, we also have two different lances, you can see. So let's bring the that's 800. Yep. Also, we have drop tons as drop cost as well. Everything costs, even shots, missiles from ammo packs. So let's get the bushwhacker and let's throw in turbo. And let's see if we can throw in the... Can we throw in another? No, we can't because we got a vehicle lance as well. So we need to throw in the warrior. And as you can see up here, next to recruit, um, MV stands for mech and vehicle. Mech and vehicle, mech and vehicle, mech and vehicle. Mech only. Mech and vehicle, mech and vehicle. So, so pilots can either do both or one each. So I think for the warrior... Which has medium leads and two SRM twos. Um, let's throw in. I don't know. Officer, you're in. Right. So that's that then. Let's deploy. Also, initiation has changed as well. So instead of having five phases of initiation, it's up to about twenty. It's up to about twenty. So it's like rounds and stuff like phases and then around, you know what I mean? Also, um, the aim mechanics have changed as well. Um, if you move or, sp or sprint, you can actually sprint and then shoot. But if you move or sprint, your aim chance goes down. So you can either stand and shoot. So for long range build, that's not going to get any aggro. It's best to stand and shoot and cover. And use your lighter, faster mechs to do what they want to do. I hope I'm explaining this alright. If it sounds like my voice is a bit uh, that's because my mouth's a bit dry tonight. Uh, I think I'm coming out with a cold a little bit, to be honest with you. So, I apologise if any, um... Any whatever. Okay, I'm doing okay for time. So, this could take a little bit. Because it's not just a Lance of Four anymore. Because you're going to get mechs and vehicles. So you might just get eight enemies off the uh, off the gun here. So we'll see what we can do. I can... Uh, it's going to be fun playing this off screen. Okay, uh, yeah, training day, yeah, it's just, uh, that's cool. So, instead of the standard, um, let's see, with these, uh, training ones, instead of, um, someone else gone, there it is, um, instead of the standard Panther, what is it, Panther Commando and Urban Meg, yeah, get a Centurion, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll be honest with you, I ain't expecting to hit shit. So, <laughs> see what happens. Also, there's um, a new melee mechanic in this as well. 
you have a choice between three different melee attacks. You keep a punch, kick, or a charge. You punch, it hits the top half of the mech. You kick, it hits the lower half. Charge is um, when you sprint from X amount of hexes and your damage increases with every single hex. But when you charge, your mech gets a full stability bar. So all it takes is for a little breath and you're just blowing it, it just knocks over. It's. It's, uh. Yeah. High risk, high reward. To say the least. Guys, taking ages, this. Must be loading something big. Oh, not. <laughs> right, here we go then. I'm just hoping this works alright from my laptop, though. And you know, I don't think it is. There we go. Um. There we go. Right. I tell you what. Let me. Okay. No, I need to go into here. Yeah. Also, the helicopters as well. All right. Let's do this. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, right, I'll tell you what, actually, just to make things a little bit better, uh, I can go settings, I'll show you why you're attacks, and right, okay, I need to go to video, yeah, there is the helicopter noise though, I ain't gonna lie, right, I'm just gonna drop this down to low, just in case, right, there we go, right, okay, so let's see what we have, we have a... Question mark. Yeah, as you can see, you can't just go off information anymore. This is, um, an e I think it's an ECM shield, I think it is. Waiting for orders. Also, there's different types of um, targeting lines as well. I believe red is the best one to have. Uh, you can also sprint and shoot as well. Uh, you can attack the ground. There is a couple of reasons why you want to attack the ground because you've got mine dispensers in this, so you can target mines to get rid of it. We have um, active abilities we can deal with. We've got passive. We haven't got um, thingy anymore. Um, precision strike. We have offensive push instead, which is um, something different. It costs 10 resolve instead of, I think it's like 30 for precision strike, but it's a heavy, heavy nerf. So let's get into let's do this then. On the way. So we're gonna be warrior and we're going to take our first shot. There we go. So as you can see, yeah. So gunnery free, side attack one, but max range, yeah, target move plus twelve. That's because still have got spawn protection. So best thing to do is just brace. The best thing to do is always reserve until they move because we have max evasion. We'll have um, yeah, we'll have max evasion. We've got brace as well. So there's a lot of like new stuff to the game. It's crazy. Okay, let's reserve again. Then we can get started. So this game, so this mod, I'm going to warn you if you are interested in trying it, it is supposed to be hard. And I've seen firsthand how hard it can be. That's why I'm going to take it extremely, extremely slow. Okay, let's reserve again. I think that's the last of the uh, bosses. Also, um, there is a failsafe for the AI as well. Apparently, it's like after 30 seconds, if the AI doesn't know what it's doing, or there's a little bit of a, a monkey wrench in the cogs, it will automatically skip its turn. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Okay, we've got a striker there. Striker, ripper. <laughs> <laughs> now 
laugh at your puny attack. I think that's the last one, I think. He's pilot. Yep. Okay, so I'll turn now. Right, turbo. Let's see what we have. We have medium expulse lasers, we have a handheld, rack two. Where we also have um integrated TSM. I don't know what that stands for, but melee damage when active, six percent water distance active, four fixed slot. Oh, triple strength for Moima. Supercharged engine. Yep. Um allowing us to run on the head. Stealth armor. As you can see, heat is a bit of a problem because we don't have it up here anymore, so we're just going to have to do what we can, really. Yep, still quite bad. We can, oh, we can sprint. That's what that does for us. 2%. Yep, hits are going to be pretty bad, but... All right. See what we can do. Yep, 11. <laughs> Max range, yeah. Into forest, target to move. Yeah. There's a lot to um, thingy on here. Okay, uh, EMP. Yeah, we got different types of ammo as well. Also, oh, the multi missile launchers, they're not medium. Because we can have SRM ammo or long range ammo and stuff like that. Tandem. Uh, I'll explain all this like when I'm playing the game. Until I know what I'm doing. But this is just a, a lot to fucking deal with. It's absolutely crazy. You can choose how many shots you want to do. It's mad. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. But I think for now... We'll just go normally like this, I think. So yeah, as you can see, of all that, only two hit. Yes, <laughs> Mad. Okay, so we've got Sentinel. It comes with a large laser, S laser, and... Location confirmed. That's cool. Yeah, it comes with a S laser, large laser, small laser, and SRM2. So yeah, take your shots, it's going to be really bad. Fire starter. Which we have uh, an LBX. It's kind of like a shotgun. Got small lasers and stuff. Uh, let's see, do we have slug ammo? Yes, we do. So cluster ammo is a splash effect, which is targeting everything. And slug just hits like the one component. So we'll go for 20, see how that does. Misses, it's fine. <laughs> Ready for orders. Okay, I'll speak for two. Yep, that's what you just saw then. A light gauss rifle. Yep, light gauss rifle, gauss rifle, whatever. It's uh, pretty cool actually. Uh, in terms of anything else, we just got life support. Yeah. That's fine. Don't know if that was a hit or I missed that. Yeah, we've got another, we've got reinforcements coming in. So, I'm gonna do this video in its entirety so you can watch it if you want. This. Right. Um, I don't know what's better. I don't know if it's red or blue. That's what we need. Much less sprint. Going full throttle. I guess we can uh, sprint and shoot now. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, as you can see, percentage is down to the decimal point this time. Waiting for orders. Order 
acknowledged. Yeah, bomb rack. MG plus, we need to get rid of those bomb racks because they are strong now. So even if you use offensive push, it's still not increased the um, thing by much. Roger. Oh, listen. What's up, boss? It's gonna take a little bit of practice to uh, deal with this, but once we start getting some higher gunnery, things will be a lot better. Not to mention targeted computers and stuff. Okay. Yeah, 17%. So, these missions can go really, really long. Just one of those you just gotta work with, really. Standing by. Okay, flapjacks. Play five. We can get you in closer if possible. Just could probably sprint up actually. Four. Sounds good. Ninety percent. Go for it. Um. Range when you get a bit closer. Yeah, free fire, move style, sprinted. Yeah, no sensors. So, yeah, this is mad. This. So, anyway, I'm gonna leave it here because I don't want this video to be too long. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you think. I mean, obviously I'm not going to show the whole battle because we could go on here for an hour and I don't think anyone wants to see a whole hour. So, I think overall the mod, there's a lot to learn with this mod. And I don't think no one playthrough is going to be the same. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look at this mod quite a bit actually. So, yeah, that's going to be it. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new and interested in the videos, and leave a comment, what's your favourite part of the video, I would love to know. There are links if you're interested, one to my most recent upload if you would love to see what I'm currently doing, one to the playlist if you want to catch up or watch from the beginning, and finally one to the channel to browse my other videos. Whatever you choose, please have a great day, and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.